Hey guys, Tech Rally here, and welcome to the eighth lesson of Learning View. On the previous lesson, we talked about making API GET requests using the JSON placeholder API. Today, we're going to piggyback off the previous lesson and now make POST requests. Looking at the current state of the application, when a user clicks the button Fetch Users, it's going to make an API request via GET and return a list of users with their name and their ID. For this specific lesson, what I really want to do is add an input field and allow the user to add another user to this list. How would we do that? Let's look at the code. What I want to do right now is add an input field below the button and in between the div container that renders the list. And what we want to do is attach two directives, the v model and the v on key up directive. So let's do that. So I'm going to include the type of text. And we'll give it a class name of add search input. Add search input. And then we'll give it a V model of new user. And then we'll do an at key up dot enter equals add add user. So what add user is going to be is a method function and the V model new user is going to be a data variable that we attach to to our view instance. So if we go back to our app.js code here, what we want to do is initialize the um, data var variable of new user to an empty string. And then we want to use that new user to basically make that submission request. So what we can do is now we can add another function, method function here called add user. And then we could say something like axios.post and use the same URL endpoint here. And what this is expecting is a param of some sort. Specifically, we're going to add the name. So it's going to say this dot new user. And then since it's, an, since it's an asynchronous call, it's going to have a, it's, you can attach it to a promise and attach a dot then like previously before. And then we'll get a response. And then let's just console log out that response and see what the, see what comes out. So we can do console log, log the response. And if you need to recap a little bit, this dot new user is going to be whatever we type in the input field because it's now two way binded between the input field and the model of new user. So if we run our code right here and we type in hello, we'll first fetch the users. And then we'll see in the console log that if we add Alex Lee, it's going to make a post request. And then it should console log out something in the info section. There it is. So right now, if we zoom in a little bit here, the data, what's returned right now is both the name and the ID. So what we want to do now that we get this data is attach it to our li current list of users. What we can do is once we get the response, we could push that new response into the users list. So first we're going to say const data equals response dot data. And then we're going to say this dot users dot push response dot data. And then we'll initialize the new user back to an empty string. So basically by doing that, it enforces the input field to go back to being blank. So first we'll fetch users. And then I'll type Alex Lee. And if you look in the bottom, Alex Lee dash 11 is created. Uh, what if we want to give the user some feedback saying, Hey, like I acknowledge that you are sending and posting information to the endpoint, but, um, it might take a little bit of time similar to how we done the loading. We could actually have another variable called submitting, which we could set to false. And then before the, we make that actual endpoint request, we could set the this dot submitting equal to true. And then after the request has been finished, we could set this dot, this dot submitting back to false. And then in our index.html, we can add some code below here that says we could attach a V if directive like before, and instead of loading, it'll be submitting. And then we'll give some kind of text like submitting. If we go back to our index.html, we could fetch the users and then I could submit Alex Lee 
and, and it quickly shows you that submitting button. Let me slow down the network request to just kind of really emphasize what's actually happening. So we're going to refresh the page. We're going to fetch the users, which is loading. And then we submit Alex Lee. Submitting, submitting, submitting. And then once it's done, Alex Lee is on the bottom. As you can see right now, what we've done is make an API get request using the fetch users method function. And then we were able to add a user to the list by attaching the add user method function to the input field. I realized I made a minor mistake by defining a variable called data, but not actually use it. So what I'm going to do really quickly is remove response.data here and just pass in the actual data variable that I defined. I hope you enjoyed the eighth lesson of learning view. For the next lesson, we're going to be learning about watchers. See you then.